Hey guys and welcome to this brand new video. In this video I want to talk about two things. First of all I want to talk about inflation and second of all I want to talk about a recession and I will explain what I think is the reason that first of all we have inflation that is that high and second of all I'll explain why I think this might lead to a recession and how you can hedge in case you are afraid of the recession. So as I've just said, let's first talk about inflation. As you can see here and here, as you can see here, the inflation in the United States is rather close to 8%. And as you can see here, the inflation in the European Union is at around 7.5%. And first of all, let's define what is inflation. Inflation, in the way we're going to talk about and we're going to use it in this video, is the fact that over time money becomes worth less. Not worthless, but worth less. In other words, $100 from today can buy less of all kinds of goods than $100 in a year from now can buy. I really want to stress that we are not talking about asset price inflation. This is another topic for another video. So one example that you most likely are aware of is the fact that the energy, for example, for your gas day, for like if you fill up your car, has become way more expensive in recent times. This has all kinds of reasons. One reason is the Ukraine war. Another reason is that in general the amount of oil produced in the world is declining. So for example here in the European Union the Netherlands, one of the largest gas producer, shut down one of their gas fields in Netherlands and this basically causes less supply. All in all things get more expensive and as you've probably noticed the american reserve bank so the fed the federal reserve is about to raise interest because if you raise interest money becomes more important uh, more more expensive and the goal of that increasement in the interest rates is to decrease consumer spending so they want you to consume less because you're more you're saving more money that's actually quite smart and here's another point inflation as we have today is not and i really want to stress that not only caused due to the fact that the fed has been printing just as the Euro the european central bank has been printing money since the start of the corona crisis to cover that crisis. I actually think that had been a rather smart move from the Fed and the ECB because they enabled the economy to kick up, start, keep on, uh, get on track after the corona crash. And here's the actual reason for the inflation in my opinion and that is supply shortage. I'll link Two documentaries, one of Wall Street Journal and the other one of Bloomberg Quick Take or CNBC, I'm not quite sure, that explain that supply chain. In short, the problem is that goods aren't moving from A to B due to port congestions, all kinds of things, and that also increases prices because if there is a large demand, because after this pandemic, after the crisis of the pandemic, it was like, I want to go shopping, I want to get these, that, whatever. If there's a large demand but a slow supply, prices will increase. They will increase. There's no other reason. There's no other thing. Like, like it's basic economics. So, due to that massive demand but that low supply, due to the supply chain issue, we obviously have inflation. With that said, to fight that inflation, the Fed is going to raise interest. Let's talk about the recession. A recession means that the economic growth will decline. Um, 
more likely we're going to have no growth at all. We will have a decline. So the economy is weaker than it was before. We're not having a recession right now, but lots of indicators show that there might be a recession on the way ahead. I don't want to go too deep into that recession talk because, in my opinion, there's a lot of foreseeing the future. And in my opinion, no one is really capable of seeing the future. I want to explain what you can do if you are afraid of a recession. A recession would mean that due to the economic weakness, like in 2008 and 2009, uh, companies are earning less. All in all, it's a rather bad situation. And due to that bad situation, the stock market, and that's the main topic we're going to talk here about in my video, the stock market is declining. Well, shit. What can you do? You can sell all your stocks after watching that video. And if we're going to hit a new all time high in just a few days from now, you're going to blame me. And I'm going to be telling you, well, as your own business. What you can also do is continue to be invested in stocks. Why should you do that? As you can see on this graph, this chart here by JP Morgan. If you just misses the 10 best days in the stock market, that really crushed your performance. So as they often say, it's not about timing the market, it's about time in the market. So after that graph and after what I just said, let's agree upon the fact that you should be invested in the market and you should co continue to invest in the market. But you're scared of the fact that the market will decline due to that recession, which is caused by the Current inflation. Buy puts. Buy puts on the SPY. That's all. If you are so scared of recession, simply buy puts. Today is April, Friday, the 8th of April. You can buy far out of the money puts with, I don't know, 20, 30% below the current market value of SPY trading. For example, in December 2022, you can buy them even, in, even later. You can buy two, three, ten, how many you can afford of them. If this is a small amount of your portfolio, I don't know, let's say a percent, max two, that's the only thing you're about to lose. You're about to lose two percent of your portfolio, but if the market is about to crash, those puts will gain in value, gain dramatically in value, and then you sell them. Or you use your right to sell those SPY shares that you own. And I'm assuming you own SPY shares for that because I said earlier, stay in the market. Why well, do you sell them? And then you buy at the lower price. Or if the market has not crashed 30% in December, but I don't know, just crashed 20%, whatever, well then. Sure, your puts would be worthless, but if those puts gained in value in December, or if you buy September once instead of December, it doesn't really matter. If you buy those puts and they gain in value, sell them, use the profit, and then I don't know, sell a cash secure put so you can buy cheaper into the market. Another thing you could do if you think that inflation will continue to be as high as it is right now. And if you assume that the Fed will actually increase their rates, I mean, they're currently planning to do it, well, you can either buy puts of, for example, the T TLT um, ETF, the IEF ETF, so TLT for 20 years, IEF for 10 years, 7 to 10 years, or what you can also do, unfortunately, I can't do that here in Germany, you can short these ETFs, if you do short them, buy, and I really want to stress that, buy at the money call if you short it. Because if that short goes wrong, you're fucked. So buy that call as a protection because then you can only lose the money you spend on the call. With that said, um, I think. The most important thing is 
if you are really afraid of the recession, use those puts as security. Accept the fact that you might be losing money with those puts, but use them as a protection. But stay in the market. I really beg you to stay in the market. As of today, I know I said that in my video just a few days ago, I am still long or I own over $100,000 in cash. But I really want to stress it. This is due to the fact that my girlfriend and I might be, need, we, we might need that cash for company that we want to found. And it is not clear yet how much of that money we need. And do we need all? Do we need just, I don't know, 10,000, all of that? So this is why I'm not invested with that money. But as you were able to see with the rest of the money, I am invested and I plan to continue investing. And I also, doing what I just said, I am buying puts for the SPY because if there is a recession, and again, I can't foresee the future, I do not know whether there is one or not, then I'm hedged, and so should you. With that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon, guys.